All right, so we're going to start off by talking about loads on structures in this class. And so the first thing we're going to talk about is dead loads. And what I have here is, um, this is basically just a, just a generic definition from ASCE 7. You can see here that it, it you know, basically lists a lot of the things you have to look at as far as dead loads go. Um, this is the section you can find it in, in the code. The, in, in general though, if you just kind of want to be uh, generic about it, basically dead loads are constant, right? So any kind of a load that does not change either over time, or the magnitude doesn't change, or the direction of application doesn't change, uh, that's a dead load. Now, as far as finding out what the dead loads are, basically you're just looking at the weight of the material. And you can see here in the commentary in chapter C3, that's where you find, there's some tables there that will show you what, how much things weigh in a building. So I'm gonna open up that book right now. So there is a handy table in the commentary of ASCE 7, so make sure you are using the commentary. Normally we use the provisions. If you look at the commentary, they have a chapter in here for all of the different chapters in the provisions. And so you can see for each of the chapters, we're gonna go to chapter three since that's where dead loads are contained. And that's, of course, that's chapter C3 because it's the commentary. You can see here they have lots of tables for all the different types of building materials you might run into where you can figure out how much they weigh. All right, so now let's, let's do an example, and this is a fairly simple example about how to use, how to calculate dead loads. Um, so this is, what this is, this is a concrete floor slab here, and um, so it's reinforced concrete. The, uh, the little dots here, that's the rebar, that's the re reinforcing. Okay, and so the idea here is we've got, so this is like a, a metal deck here, um, and they're pouring the concrete on top of that, they're putting the reinforcing inside that, and we're gonna calculate what the uh, total weight is of this in pounds per square foot. So kind of the, the tricky part here is that you've got, you know, it, the decking is kind of corrugated down here at the bottom, and so we've gotta kind of figure out how much is that gonna weigh per square foot. So I think the easiest thing to do is to kind of figure out what is the average depth for this, for this uh, reinforced concrete slab. So the way I do that is I take, um, so I take a repeating section. So this area right here, that repeats, and I'm gonna call that A. And basically I'm gonna calculate the area of that. So what I wanna do is I wanna find an average depth. So I'm gonna call that D bar here. This is the average depth. And then this, this dimension here is just the same, it's the same width, right? So it's five inches because that's what the, that's what the, that's the width of the repeating section here. Okay, and so basically, and then this, then this area over here, again, this is still A, right? So basically these two areas are equal. The widths are the same. I just have to figure out what D bar is so that the, um, the areas are exactly the same. So we're on this side, this is a little bit tricky, right? The area over here, so basically there's two different rectangles here. There's the top part, which is five inches by four inches, and then down in the, basically in the decking, it's two inches by two inches. Okay, so you do that calculation, that's 24 inch, that's 24 square inches is that area. Over here, as far as the, the average depth, that's really easy, right? A is equal to D bar times the five inches. All right, and so then we just set these two things equal to each other. So, so D bar is equal to, D bar is equal to basically 24 inches squared over five inches. So that turns out to be 4.8 inches. So that's the average depth. And of course, you know, whenever you do a calculation like this, you want to make sure that it looks reasonable. So if I come over, if I come over to the, to the, uh, the layout of the, of the reinforced concrete floor, you know, if it were five inches, that would be right at the center of that decking, right? This would be five inches. And you can see it's a little bit less than that. And that makes sense, right? Because if I think about where the average depth is going to be, 
there is less material than there is you know, gap. And so I would expect it to be a little bit above that five inches. So that looks like a reasonable answer. All right, so now the next step is we need to um, go into the table and figure out how much all this stuff weighs. So I'm gonna pull open the book and let's look at how much the decking is gonna weigh and then the reinforced concrete is gonna weigh. So we need, to, we need to figure out what the weights are for the decking and the concrete. So again, I go back to the commentary. If I go to the table that has the different materials in it, make sure you're looking at PSF. And for our decking, you can see here, I come down and they've got two entries for metal deck and we're using 18 gauge decking. So it's the second one here. Unfortunately, there's a big gap between the text and the numbers, but if you were to go straight over, you would see that the 18 gauge decking is three pounds per square foot. So we're gonna use that. All right, so as we saw in the table, as far as the area load goes, the 18 gauge decking, that is three pounds per square foot. Now the concrete, like we saw, we're going to basically use the, dens the density of the concrete to figure out how much that weighs. They do have several types of concrete, but it's all unreinforced, so there's not rebar in this, so we can't use this. This is not quite correct. What you have to do is you flip over, and there's another table here where they have densities for different types of material. And so if you come down here, here's concrete, reinforced concrete. It has rebar. We're just using standard concrete with, with stone aggregate. And so you can see that's 150 pounds per cubic foot. So we'll use that to determine how much the concrete weighs. So for reinforced concrete, it's 150 pounds per cubic foot. And the way I'm going to calculate how much that weighs per square foot is just basically take a square foot of the concrete. like that. Okay, so this is one foot by one foot. And then, as we mentioned, um, we know what this depth is, right? This is 4.8 inches. So this is, you know, this is a square foot of the, of the concrete slab at a depth of 4.8 inches, the average depth there. And so the weight of this, right, it's just the volume, right? The 12 inches times 12 inches times 4.8 inches times the density, 150 pounds per foot cubed. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna write this out again. So let's go. Okay, so again, so the weight it's equal to the 12 inches times the 12 inches times the 4.8 inch average depth times 150 pounds per cubic foot. All right, and so if you do that calculation, it turns out to be, actually it turns out to be exactly 60 pounds. So, so a cubic, I'm sorry, so a square foot of the concrete slab with, the, with just the concrete is equal to 60 pounds. So that's going to be 60 pounds per foot squared, right? That's, that's how much it weighs per foot squared. And um, so now that's just for the concrete. Okay, so the total weight you add the concrete and the decking, so it's 60 pounds per foot squared plus the decking, which is three pounds per foot squared. So that is 63 pounds per foot squared. So 63 PSF is the weight of the concrete slab with the decking. So in the code, it actually, is, it's kind of nice because it does show that concrete, it does show you for some types of concrete, how much it weighs per inch of depth, but unfortunately it doesn't have reinforced concrete. But we can calculate that pretty easy. So for reinforced concrete,
right? For reinforced concrete with the rebar in it, um, it weighs 150 pounds per foot cubed. If you divide that by 12 inches per foot, you get 12.5 pounds. If you do all the, the unit conversions, you get 12.5 pounds per foot squared per inch. In other words, it weighs 12.5 PSF per inch. So we could have done this calculation by just using this value here. So because it's 4.8 inches deep, the weight of the concrete would be equal to 4.8 inches times 12.5 PSF per inch. And that gives you, that will actually give you the 60 pounds per foot squared, right? So you get the same thing. So I actually, like in my table that I use, I write off to the side that for reinforced concrete, it is 12.5 PSF per inch, and you can just use that to do it. When we get to class, we will do a little bit more detailed example. We'll have a lot of other building materials. We'll have a different type of deck. You'll be able to calculate that. Um, there is a quiz where there's a little bit simpler, something similar to what I just did. I'd like you to go ahead and run through that, try it on your own before you get to class so, you, so you're pretty confident. This is probably the most tricky thing is figuring out how to get the weight of a concrete slab when you've got corrugated decking like that. Uh, if you've got that all straightened out by the time you get to class, you've got that figured out, then we can jump into these examples and it should be just great.